David dwelt in the region of Carmel, where dwelt also a shepherd whose name was Nabal, the husband of prudent Abigail. But Nabal was rude and vulgar, and his doings were evil. Now David sent messengers to Nabal to ask food for his men in return for the protection and benevolence which he had given to Nabal's shepherds while they tarried in his territory. But Nabal answered David's servants and said, Who is David and who is the son of Jesse? There be many servants nowadays that break every man from his master. Shall I then take my bread and my water and my flesh that I have killed for my shears and give it unto men whom I know not whence they be? So David's young men turned their way and went again and came and told him all those sayings. Nabal doth scorn my suit, seeks my destruction. I am a man of war. Tomorrow noon there shall not be left one of the house of Nabal. But who comes here? A woman beautiful, a shepherd queen, and maids and shepherds fair her feet are chair. I am ever gay. What wouldest thou? Now Abigail, the prudent wife of Nabal, had come with the purpose of appeasing David's revengeful anger, for she wished to spare the innocent men of David and Nabal from the senseless slaughter which David had plotted in a moment of violent passion. By secretly bringing food for David and his men, she succeeded in bringing peace.
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who sent thee this day to meet us. And blessed be thy advice, and blessed be thou, Abigail, thou hast kept me this day from shedding blood. Go And it came to pass about ten days after that the Lord smote Nabal, and he died. And when David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord that hath pleaded the cause of my reproach from the hand of Nabal, and hath kept his servant from evil. For the Lord hath returned the wickedness of Nabal upon his own head. And David sent and communed with Abigail to take her for his wife. And Abigail hasted and arose and rode with five damsels of hers that went after her. And she went after the messengers of David and became his wife. O oh, David, thy foe hath perished neath the stroke of wrath divine. The reveler of the vineyards lies dead at the table of wine. What navel, who so proudly the mountain vineyards trod, and said in his heart in his revels, In Israel there is no God. Now the glancing of spears in the vineyards, and the sight of blood shall cease, and the maids in the olive garden. We'll gather the fruit. 